The story of Jacob Blake resonates with a local man. Leon Ford was left paralyzed after police shot him during a traffic stop eight years ago. Pam Serrano spoke with Ford about what he's doing now to reach out to help Jacob Blake. Pam. Leon Ford describes the shooting of Jacob Blake as traumatizing, coupled by a political firestorm. And Ford says it's a trauma that will take time to heal from. In fact, Ford is on a healing tour right now, trying to bring American cities together. While circumstances around the police shootings that left both men paralyzed are different. Uh, our process is very similar mentally, emotionally, and even physically. Ford was pulled over by Pittsburgh police in 2012 and tragically mistaken for a wanted gang member. Ford offered proof of his identity, but when his ID wasn't accepted, he became afraid and tried to drive away. At that moment, he was shot by an officer and paralyzed. It's going to be hard to trust people. He doesn't have to immediately go out there and be the spokesperson. Uh, for the movement, you know, take his time and heal. Ford reached out to Jacob Blake, the man left paralyzed Sunday after being shot by officers in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And they need more love and support. Life isn't over. You can still live your life. As far as violence, civil unrest, and painful racial divisions that followed in Kenosha, nationwide, and in Pittsburgh after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Ford believes that change needs to happen in America. That fire is that anger. You know, we just have to, you know, position that anger, position that fire in a, in a healthy way. We can acknowledge our anger and all of our emotions, but, but what is the solution? In fact, Ford is part of the Heal America Tour, a panel of spiritual leaders, police, business leaders, traveling the country, inviting everyone to find solutions. You know, some of them are Republicans, some of them are de Democrat, don't care. Some of them are Muslim, some of them are Catholic and Christian, it doesn't matter. Ford spoke directly with the mayor of Minneapolis and wants to do the same in his hometown. I would love to meet with uh, Bill Perduto. I would love to meet with Rich Fitzgerald. I would love to meet with uh, members of the police union. How do we get in front of this? We could we, we could have got, gotten in front of this years ago. Now, Leon Ford says he has reached out to Mayor Perduto several times and has not received any response back. He says he doesn't want to critique what happened to him, he just wants to make sure it doesn't happen again. He says he hopes he has an opportunity to do that to bring about change here in his hometown. Reporting live tonight, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.